this is a video tutorial for this design and I hope you enjoy. So the polishes I'll be using are Mint Candy Apple, Something About Spring, and Arizona. And the white base I have is Snow Me White, so let's get started! So you'll need tape and scissors and just cut a thin strip like that and make sure it's longer than the length of your nail. So place that on the center of your nail and then you'll need these stickers and place that along the center tape. Make sure your base is completely dry otherwise when you peel off the tape it'll peel off the polish with it. And then press the chevron nail guide so that the polish won't leak through. And then add two more pieces of tape on both sides. And you're ready to paint. You don't have to use three polishes for this part. You can still do this design with only one or two polishes. If you don't like the blended look, you can paint the different colors neatly within the tape outlines. But I, on the other hand, like the marbled ombre look. So I'm crossing borders with the colors. I learned better after this nail, and it doesn't turn out as blended as I wanted, so I also paint my thumbnail at the end of the video if you want to see a better result. And now you're ready to peel the tape and the nail guides, and the center tape, and let the polish set for a little while, and then you can proceed to the top coat. And I'm switching fingers, and the top coat I'm using is Essie Good To Go. And voila! This is how they all look with top coat. Now if you don't have those chevron nail guides, this is how you can do it with just tape. So keep cutting those thin strips depending on how many you want on your nail. And then cut them in half with the exception of that one for the center of your nail. And place that on your nails. And I apologize, clear tape isn't the easiest to look at over white. <laughs> Sorry! And now you can add the two pieces of tape for the edges. And then take those tiny pieces of tape and make a V-shape along the center tape, kind of like the chevron nail guides earlier. So make sure the tape is symmetric when you apply it for the chevron part. The point doesn't have to be perfect where they meet because of the tape in the middle, because you'll peel it off anyways. And do that. Da -da -da. Now if you want a more marbled ombre look, paint the colors diagonally and kind of slanted instead of painting horizontally. This way, after you peel the tape, you'll be able to see the blended colors better. And if you want a stronger effect, then feel free to overlap the polishes as much as you want. And then you're ready to peel the tape off. Just keep peeling, just keep peeling. And because I painted such thick layers, you can kind of see the blended colors sticking out after you peel the tape, but it's okay because the top coat will seal all those layers together, as you saw with my ring finger earlier. And ta-da! I hope that was somewhat useful, <laughs> and thank you for watching!